Uh, it is Friday, 25th of February, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the dogs wanted out, so the dogs got out first. Um, I'll have to get my news off of TikTok in a little bit when we get back inside. But, uh, yep, yeah. relax for a few more minutes, enjoy the rest of my coffee, and uh, get back to work on this uh, BMW 335i. All right, back at it, day two with this BMW 335i. Uh, on the driver's side, we've got from this top portion down, all the way down to the skirting, left to polish, or left to compound, and then we'll move on to the passenger side, come back up and do what we can on the front bumper. Um, wipe it down real quick, check and see if we missed any uh, any compounding anywhere, and then uh, go back and hit it with the polish. Should finish up that up today. Um, got Alan coming out in a little while to help with the interior. Pick up where Rebecca left off, and we're gonna have some fun today. Till one in the afternoon on Friday and I have finally completed all of the compounding on the entire vehicle and have gotten out about everything and I'm pretty sure I think I could get out without risking any integrity to the clear coat causing any damage to the vehicle it's looking pretty good I have not started to polish it yet. But it's looking pretty good. As you can see in the video, it does get kind of dusty in here. I do have an issue with uh, trying to keep the dust down with the garage door closed. I try to work with the garage door closed most of the time so nobody complains. Um, we get a business, actually a building, uh, it'll be a whole lot better. Won't have to worry about it. Uh, should have a better air filtration system, fan with the screen, something to help keep some of the dust down. Uh, have a lot more space, a little more open airflow. Should be a whole lot better. But um, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, like I said, it's just the compounding using a cutting compound. Discussed ahead of time, we know not everything is going to come out. The scratches, the pitting, and sand, or whatever it is. But um, it's looking pretty good. Alright, so finished up with everything, polished the headlights. Um, the headlights look pretty good. Got everything cleaned up, got the pads cleaned out, got everything set up to start polishing. Alright, sorry about that air compressor side to cut on but yeah got everything set up getting ready to start polishing get this thing all polished uh, take it outside probably wash it off again and uh, finish up the inside put the sealant on it dress everything and should be ready to go day two is not going too bad so far So uh, it's uh, Saturday, um, I go back and do a little thing about yesterday's video. Um, we did have Neil from Breakwater uh, Detailing stop by and talk to us, pretty good guy. Um, just wanted to get to know us. He's kind of new in the business, getting going. Uh, seems like a pretty good guy. Um, talked about a bunch of different things. Uh, he was here for a little while. Um, a few hours so got a little less done than we thought yesterday but it's no problem 
you know, it's good to sit and visit with people, meet new people, talk to them, encourage people when they're starting out. Uh, we support other businesses, we support other detailers. We can't do everything and you know, you can either support them, encourage them and help them out or you can talk trash about them and bash them and we don't do the latter. So we're here to help them out. Uh, anything we can do to help him um, get going. Uh, he seems to be busier than us at the moment, which is fine. Um, we've had December and January that were extremely busy when everybody else was slow. So it comes and goes. Um, you know, wish the guy luck. We're here to support him. We encourage him. We like his videos. Um, positive things to say about him. There's a few other detailers that you know may stop by that we have met recently. Um, Seemed pretty good so far. Uh, didn't get anything on video yesterday, but did lose a little bit of time and then worked for a little bit and then went to a car meet with the local car group. Well, they're nationwide, uh, Midnight Mopars. So we went out and hang out with uh, the group around here at Sonic. Had some good food, uh, some good, uh, good conversations, lots of laughters, a uh, great group of guys that do some, or great groups of people, men and women. They do a lot of great things for kids, uh, support kids. Um, if you got a Mopar, check them out. You know, they're nationwide. Uh, might be something you're interested in. But yeah, I had a, had a good time last night. Came back, got home about 10.30. I was tired. Didn't get nothing done. Woke up this morning. We had a car show that we went to at Jack's Wax. Uh, we support Jack's Wax Charleston. We get our products there. Mark is a great guy. He also does detailing there. You know, hey, you know, when you get together and you kind of network with each other and encourage each other and share stories, you know, you have a really good time. So we went to Jack Swax this morning. Uh, now we're back. We're going to get this uh, BMW finished up today and get started on the next project. Uh, you should have seen a preview for it earlier when the garage door came up. So stick around for that one. I'ma give it to you G straight And I'm out beat slay I'm not a human being Ballin' like Kareem sipping on codeine I lean with it Rock with it Got coke dreams Boom Back Boom in the trap When trap meets house You get a trap house Got two stacks Throw it at a strip dancer Big booty hoe Said she from Atlanta All right, Saturday night, end of day three. The BMW 335i is complete. We will be rolling it out in the driveway tomorrow in the sunlight, taking video, pictures, putting together the part three for this one. Um, it came out looking pretty good. Uh, the owner is still on vacation. Uh, Pretty sure he's gonna be happy when he sees it. Uh, if not, I'm probably gonna cry and I don't know, give up, quit. I don't know. No, nah, we'll never quit. Won't give up. He'll be happy. 100% confident he'll be happy. The car looks pretty good. Now we knew ahead of time that we were not gonna get everything out. It's an older car. It was used as a daily driver. Uh, it's got a lot of rock chips in the hood, uh, the front bumper. It's not much we could do with it. We cleaned up uh, what we could. Um, yeah. Pretty sure he's going to be happy. So, like I said, we'll do the uh, part three tomorrow. Uh, pull it out. Wipe all the dust off of it. 
get the uh, videos and pictures of the inside and outside and put together part three. Uh, we did also today wash the next project. Um, it should have been both videos should have got a little glimpse of what was sitting outside the garage. Uh, it's it's going to be beautiful. I love the color. Uh, it's got some sparkle in there. Uh, we did clay bar today also. And the clay bar, huge difference already. So I can't wait to uh, put the, put the uh, buffer on it. Do a little bit of a uh, little bit of compounding. It's not going to take much. Uh, really, really good polish. And it, man, it's going to pop. I, I guarantee you this one's going to pop. Uh, also today, I had forgot. And uh, we had a repeat customer come by. Uh, via the Volkswagen Jetta that we did, the black one. The owner also has a Mustang. Uh Barely drives the car, keeps it in the garage, pulls it out every once in a while, takes it for a spin, and uh, washes it and puts it back in there. So he did stop by, and we were rolling three deep. One in the garage, two in the driveway. Yeah, and our cars, whew, man, we need a building, and we needed one bad. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, uh, see you into this one. Uh, please follow. Uh, or subscribe. This is supposed to go on YouTube, so help us out and subscribe. Uh, help us get the page going. Uh, hopefully you like the content. Hopefully we can put out some more good content, even better content. If you have any suggestions, let us know. We appreciate it. Thank you.